Fret Heart Chakra. Hello, this is Atman Parmar inviting you to enjoy the guided recitation for meditation through the circular peaceful progress. If you're already familiar with this meditation, you can skip the introductory section and listen to the meditation with recitation. If you're listening to this for the first time, all you need to do is listen to the audio, recite powerful radical statements and maintain a journal or a diary. This is best practiced in a group for a cumulative effect on all group members. The effect will be proportional to the number of people actively participating as all of you listen and recite together. The more the number of people, the more the powerful effect on you and everyone. The session includes a small introductory note, clearing statements for peace and empowering statements for progress. Our body is immersed in a pool of energy or in an energy field called aura. Certain parts of the energy field have circular whirlpool-like energy movements and these spots are called chakras. There is a minor difference in the way different schools describe chakras. Over and above seven major chakras, which most traditional schools have described, we will also study about 250 plus minor chakras in our upcoming circle of peaceful progress. So stay tuned. Today, let us talk about the front heart chakra or Anahata. We open up to the experience of being loved through our front heart chakra. Though we all think we are open to experiencing love and being loved by everyone. However, that is not necessarily the case with everyone. A lot depends upon our early experiences related to love. Our first experience of love begins with mother and later from the father or father figure. If you have perceived unpleasantness intermixed with the experience of love at any age, you often form a belief and repeat the pattern of loving relationships with similar unpleasantness and adversity. Since this happens at the subconscious level, we are seldom aware of our stories. We simply create energetic walls blocking our front heart check. This often feels like a heavy weight on the chest. People may feel a kind of unseen wall when they approach you, or you may defend yourself by putting off others and their attempt to make you feel loved and special. You're not afraid of them. You're not afraid of love. You're simply afraid of what may happen when you are loved or what can happen afterwards. Fear of adversities compel you to repel love, at times in a very subtle way or in an obvious way. And yet, there could be a deep void for love which remains unfulfilled. And no amount of superficial relationships can complete the incompletions related to love. It is time to recognize the erroneous emotional associations with love and loved ones, address old beliefs and safely open up the heart chakra to invite love and loving relationships in your life. Like oxygen and water, love is always there, everywhere. All creations are expression of love. You are loved and taken care of beyond your imagination.
your needs are taken care of, your progress is facilitated, you have been given the experiences and learnings as chosen by your soul and subconscious mind. And life is just shaping up in the best possible way to make this journey called life so meaningful for you. These are purest gesture of love from the Creator. If you care to recognize them, you will never feel unloved. When we do not appreciate, we often feel unloved. Drop your defensive barrier and give yourself an experience of being loved and dearly cherished by all. Know that it is truly safe to love and be loved by all. You are worthy of being loved and you certainly deserve a life full of loving relationship. Do not contaminate and bind love with heavy expectations. When you let go of all your expectations, add on beliefs and emotional adversities associated with love, you will be able to truly experience love from all. Expand your heart chakra. Take a deep breath and feel love in every breath. Soak yourself in the love frequency and feel the blissful, unadulated joy in every cell of your body. Love is your true essence. Love is your true learning. Love is the ultimate culmination of all the experiences. Love dissolves all emotional toxins and makes you full of love. That's when you truly love yourself and all creations of the universe without waiting for them to suit your terms and conditions in the name of love. Be the natural channel of love. Be the ever-flowing vessel of love. Let all around you feel positively touched by your brilliance, radiance of love energy. Let your life be full of love. Share this audio with as many people as possible purely out of love because what goes around comes around. Let us begin with reciting some statements for opening our front heart chakra. Recite with me or after me. I will use a few catalyst keywords such as soul's love, transform and transcend. You will find the meaning in the description. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend the blocks in my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend the blocks in my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend the blocks in my love life. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to overcome the blocks. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to overcome the blocks. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to overcome the blocks. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to safely remain open to be loved. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to safely remain open to be loved. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to safely remain open to be loved. 
With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to be defensive. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to be defensive. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my need to be defensive. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my expectations from love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my expectations from love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my expectations from love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my rigid beliefs with love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my rigid beliefs with love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my rigid beliefs with love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my past experiences related to love and my loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my past experiences related to love and my loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my past experiences related to love and my loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my fears related to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my fears related to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my fears related to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my vulnerability to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my vulnerability to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my vulnerability to love and loved ones. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my courage to be loved. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my courage to be loved. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my courage to be loved. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my self-love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my self-love. With soul's love, I transform and transcend my self-love. Now recite, I peacefully progress by safely remaining open to be loved. I peacefully progress by dropping all my conditionings and beliefs about love. I peacefully progress by raising my awareness. I peacefully progress by recognizing love in every creation. I peacefully progress by allowing the flow of pure love. I peacefully progress by encouraging loving relationships. 
I peacefully progress as per my soul calling. I peacefully progress by going beyond my self-limiting beliefs. I peacefully progress by accepting all that is with total awareness and higher consciousness. Now take a journal or diary or an electronic gadget and mention five experiences you are grateful for. Here are some examples. With deep gratitude, I recognize love in every gesture. With deep gratitude, I recognize love from my loved ones. With deep gratitude, I recognize love in every creation. You can make your own statements. Share them with people in your circle. Maintain a journal and write there. For best results, write the gratitude journal just before bedtime. Or you may read the previous gratitude statements before you go to sleep. For best results, continue this practice for at least three months. You will get a new audio recording on a new chakra topic every week. You could translate the recitation into your language and create your own circles and let all of us peacefully progress. If you wish to continue this practice daily with a group of people, join us as a subscribe member for group recitation and avail many more benefits. Find the link to join the group in the description section.